Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's President Qais Said on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's President Qais Said on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness, the Premier, also sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's Prime Minister Elias Fakhfakh. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's President Qais Saeed on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's Prime Minister Elias Fakhfakh. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the SCYS in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahia Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as a number of council members. The SCYS hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to citizens and residents during the current health circumstances in the kingdom and world countries. The Council commended the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praising the steps that contribute to maintaining the health of all citizens and residents. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for His Majesty's support to the youth and sports sector, affirming that it contributed to the development of the two sectors, and that the Council is keen on achieving His Majesty's vision of making further achievements in various local and international participations. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahia Olympic Committee, BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in a video call of the Asian National Olympic Committee's official meeting, which was shared by the President of the International Olympic Committee, Thomas Bach, in the presence of the Secretary General of the BOC, Mohammed Hassan Al Nasb, with the participation of a number of Presidents and Secretary Generals of Asian Olympic Committees to discuss the current circumstances regarding the coronavirus, COVID 19, and the health precautionary measures to be taken. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts exerted by the International Olympic Committee for a safe hosting of the Olympic Games that will be held in Tokyo for world athletes following the spread of the COVID-19. He affirmed the BOC's keenness on the health of its athletes, expressing his full confidence in the abilities of the International Olympic Committee to take the proper decisions regarding the Olympic Games. During the meeting, the attendees discussed all perceptions of the Games and the qualifying rounds, as well as the means of cooperation with international sports associations to set the conditions for qualifying the remaining athletes who comprise of 43% of the total athletes. His Highness Sheikh Khalid asserted the importance of making decisions after careful study to protect the health of all those concerned and support the efforts to contain the coronavirus and protect the interests of athletes and the Olympic Games. He also stressed the importance of communication between the Olympic movement, the Olympics organizing committee in Japan and the athletes to exchange information and developments. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts of the work team comprised of the International Olympic Committee, World Health Organization, and the Tokyo 2020 Organization Committee, as well as Japanese authorities and government expressing hope that the Games be held in the best circumstances to provide an optimal environment for athletes. The executive and legislative authorities held a joint meeting at the headquarters of the Representatives Council, chaired by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, in the presence of the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al Khalifa, and a number of ministers and members of the Shura and Representatives Councils. The meeting was held to review the details of the financial and development of the 4.3 billion dinar stimulus package launched by the government upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, which was launched to support citizens and the private sector and to continue to achieve the goals of sustainable development in light of the exceptional circumstances faced by the Kingdom of Bahrain and the world because of the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. The Shura and Representatives Council Speaker and Chairman affirmed the importance of activating the necessary legislative tools to implement the directives of His Majesty the King to ensure the speedy activation of the stimulus package. 
They also affirmed the importance of solidarity and cooperation with the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. They also affirmed the support of the legislative authority to all uh, decisions and initiatives that aim uh, to help the country overcome the repercussions of the virus spreads, to ensure the health and safety of all citizens and residents, and to ensure the continuation of sustainable development of all sectors. The chairman and speaker of the councils also affirmed that both councils will dedicate all efforts and resources to study the legislations that will implement the directives of the leadership, particularly the project to support the salaries of citizens working in the private sector. For his part, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa affirmed solidarity to overcome this global challenge, hailing the efforts of all sectors which helped contain the spread of the virus in the kingdom. He also commended the unity of the people of Bahrain in facing the spread of the virus. He also noted that the stimulus package comes within the framework of uniting national efforts to face the repercussions of the global spread of the coronavirus at the local level. He also commended the cooperation between the Shura and Representatives Council, which is supported by their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince. The Deputy Prime Minister also emphasized that the Legislative Authority plays an important role in achieving one of the most important decisions included in the Financial and Development Package, which is the approval of a draft law that will be referred to the Legislative Authority next week as a matter of urgency, pursuant to Article 87 of the Constitution aiming to pay the salaries of citizens working in the private sector from the Unemployment Fund of for the months April, May and June for the year 2020, according to the maximum salary stipulated in the social insurance law with a total value of 215 million Bahraini dinars. During the meeting, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain and Shura and Representatives Council Chairman and Speaker were briefed on the other initiatives included in the Financial and Development Package and the efforts in coordination with local banks in which the government would be responsible for electricity and water bills for all individuals and companies for the months of April, May and June of this year, not to exceed the bills for the same period of last year for each subscriber with a total value of 150 million Bahrain. Dinars, provided that the government uh, restructures the administrative expenses of public agencies without affecting the general budget of the state. Commercial establishments will also be exempted from municipal fees for the months of April, May and June of the current year, with a total value of 25 million Bahraini dinars. Industrial and commercial institutions will also be exempted from government industrial lands due rental fees for the months of April, May and June from this year. Tourist facilities will also be exempted from tourism fees for the months of April, May and June of this year. In addition, the size of the liquidity fund will be doubled by 100 million Bahraini dinars to reach 200 million Bahraini dinars, along with a number of decisions from the Central Bank of Bahrain to raise the amount of bank lending equivalent to 3.7 billion Bahraini dinars to provide flexibility to deal with customer requests to postpone installments or additional financing. Also, Temkin's labor fund programs for companies affected by the current situation to tackle the coronavirus COVID-19 will be reoriented with loan, loan restructuring in cooperation with banks with a total value of 60 million Bahraini dinars. The president of the Castation Court, Abdullah bin Hassan al buainin said all court hearings on March 22nd, 26th will be postponed for one week. al buainin said all parties will be informed about the changes through text messages or postal letters. He added, however, that appeals before the Court of Cassation, civil and legal urgent cases, appeals of decisions to release detainees, considerations of renewal of pre-trial detention cases that are being examined electronically, requests submitted electronically to the enforcement courts, reviews of applications before the judge implementing the punishment and the administration of civil, commercial and labor cases will be exempted. The Health Ministry Under Secretary Dr. Walid bin Khalifa Al Mana confirmed that work is underway to complete the procedures for the arrival of the second batch of citizens within the ministry's evacuation plan for citizens currently in Iran in accordance with internationally and medically approved procedures. He pointed out that the ministry has scheduled a plane to evacuate the second batch today. However, the company which agreed to operate the flight withdrew from the previous agreement, thus cancelling the scheduled flight, noting that the ministry is still seeking to find suitable alternatives as soon as possible. 
Almana explained that the ministry is continuing its efforts towards intensifying all precautionary and preventative measures to contain the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19 by subjecting evacuation citizens upon their arrival to laboratory tests under the supervision of a specialized medical team. And based on the results of the test, they will be transferred to one of the preventative quarantine centers or the isolation and treatment centers according to the guidelines and standards approved by the World Health Organization.